Actions Program. This program is part of Get Active Singapore where we celebrate the nation's birthday together through sport. So get ready on your mat. We'll start with some warm up first. Now as you sit on your heels, sit on the mat. Straighten your leg here in front of you on your sitting bones. Now bring your right or your left foot on the outside of your left hip, rolling your calf muscles out and bring your right foot resting on your left inner thigh, right on top of your inner thigh. So your left foot is in line with your hip and your right foot is resting on your left inner thigh. Now from here, keep your spine straight, hands to the side. Bring your left hand onto your right knee. Bring your right hand to the back. Grab your big toe here if you can. Otherwise, have it resting on your lower back. And twist from your waist, turn, exhaling out, looking to the back. Stay here for a few breaths. Three, two, one. Slowly inhale, release your hands back to the center. Release your right foot, straighten your leg. Straighten your left leg. Now we'll switch to the other side. So you're going to bring your right foot resting on the outside, just next to your left, uh, your right hip. And from here, you're going to bring your left foot resting on your right inner thigh. Okay, so your knees are in line with each other. Use your right hand twisting here, keeping your spine straight, resting your right hand on your left knee. Bring your left hand to the back. Grab your right big toe here. Keep opening your chest, twist and turn, looking to the back. Keep your spine straight. And stay here. Three, two, one, slowly release, back to the center, release your left foot, straighten your left leg, straighten your right leg, shake it off here. And then from here, sit in a comfortable position, again, lengthening your back. On your sitting bones, you can use a block beneath or a blanket to elevate your back, to support your back. And from here, inhale, bringing your hands over your head. With an exhalation, bring your left elbow down to your left side. Fingers pointing towards the side. Right hand over your head, look towards your right. Make sure your sitting bone remains on the mat. Keep pushing it down. Stay here. Just breathing in and out. For three, two, one. Slowly inhale, lift yourself up. And we'll switch to the other side. Bring your right elbow down. Make sure your left sitting bone remains on the ground. Left hand over your head, opening your chest here so you're not sinking in, but you're opening it up. Look towards your left. Keep your left hand straight. Feel the stretch on the side. And just stay here, breathing in and out. For three, two, one. Slowly inhale, come back up. Interlock your hands here, palms facing the ceiling. Keep your neck and shoulder relaxed. Take a deep breath in, inhale. And exhale, twisting from your waist to the right. Keep looking to the right, opening your chest at the same time. Breathing in and out here. Inhale, 
navel back to the center and exhale twisting to the left from your waist so you're twisting from your waist you're moving from your waist your shoulder remains where it is keep looking towards your left to the side slowly inhale back to the center now as you release your hands here bring your left hand onto your right knee right hand to the back again you're twisting you're looking to the back keep your spine straight so you're not leaning to the back or the front keeping it straight twisting from your spine and opening your chest so keep pulling your right shoulder to the center of the back stay here for three two one inhale bring your hands back up and exhale switch to the other side exhale bring your right hand on to your left knee left hand to the back open your chest keep pulling your left shoulder to the back look towards the back here keeping your spine straight inhale back to the center and exhale release Now from here you will straighten your leg, again you're going to balance on your sitting bone, keeping your spine straight. Now bend your right knee here, bringing your right foot on the outside of your left knee. Right hand on the mat to the side, inhale lifting your left hand up, using your left elbow to push your right knee further in as you twist and turn to the back. Bring your right hand to the back, keeping your spine straight so you're not leaning back, not too much to the front, keeping it straight. Now if you can use your left hand to grab your right ankle, good, otherwise you can just have your left elbow pushing your right knee in as you continue looking to the back. We'll stay here for five breaths, just breathing in and out. Make sure your left toe is flexed, toes are pointing towards the ceiling. Three, two, one. Now slowly turn back to the front, release your left hand, right hand to the side, release your left leg, straighten it. We'll switch to the other side, bend your left knee, bring your left foot on the outside of your right knee, left hand to the side, lengthen your back, inhale, lift your right hand up. Use your right elbow, pushing your left knee in as you twist and turn to the back. Bring your left hand to the back. Keep looking to the back as you open your chest. Keep pulling your left shoulder to the back. Your right foot active. You can grab your ankle here. Otherwise, just keep pushing your knee in. We'll stay here for five breaths. Three, two, one, inhale back to the center, slowly release, straighten your leg here, shake it off. Now bend your knees here, you want to bring the sole of your feet together into butterfly pose. You can have your feet close towards your body or further away. Interlock your hands around your toes. Lift your shoulders up in a circle, pulling it back, lifting your chest up. And from here, as you take a deep breath in, exhale, bending your elbows, leaning forward. Staying here for a few moments as you allow yourself to feel the stretch, breathing in and out. So you don't stop breathing, keep breathing. Feel the intensity of the stretch on your inner thighs, your hips. Take a deep breath in again. 
and exhale, lean forward. Now if you can bring your elbows onto the mat or the ground, good, and just remain here. Otherwise, stay where you are and just feel the intensity of the stretch there as you breathe in and out. You want to make sure that your shoulders are straight and rolled back so you're not sinking in, your chest is lifted the whole time, looking forward. With every exhalation, allow yourself to go deeper into the pose. And if you can shift your elbows further to the front and walk your fingers forward even better to allow you to go deeper into the stretch. Otherwise, stay where you are, breathe in and out right there. Take a full deep breath in. And exhale, go deeper into the pose. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathe in, breathe out. Stay here, feel the stretch. Try not to hold your breath here. Allow yourself as you exhale to relax. As intense as the stretch may be, if your knees do not touch the ground, that's okay. You can use a blanket or a block underneath to support, or you can even sit on the block to elevate yourself to allow you to go deeper into the posture. You can also use your hands and place it on the inside, just below your knees, have your palms, your fingers facing outwards and pressing down onto the thighs to allow your knees to go deeper into the ground. Keep lifting your chest, looking forward and just staying here. Make sure your feet is together so they're not coming apart. Lengthening your back at the same time. Take a deep breath in, exhale, go deeper into the posture. No need to overstrain yourself, just move as much as you can. With the next inhalation, breathe in, slowly bringing yourself back up. Bring your knees together, hug your knees here. Easing to tension from the hips and your back. And then now from here, what you want to do is, you want to bring your left foot on the outside of your left hip and your right foot on the outside of your right hip. Come on your knees, roll your calf muscles out and sit on the mat. Now, if you're unable to do this, you can have your feet together and sit on your heels. But if it's easy for you, you can sit on the mat. If you feel too much of a strain on your knees, use a blanket beneath for support. Now from here, lengthen your back. We're slowly gonna move down. So you're gonna come down onto your elbows as you move to the back. You wanna keep pressing your knees down Slowly dropping your head to the back, lifting your chest towards the ceiling and just staying here. Now from here, slowly come down if you can, otherwise just stay where you are. Have your hands resting on your thighs as you breathe in and out here.
can bring your hands over your head, just breathing in and out here. Now there's a mild back bend in your lower back here, so your back will arch at the lower back here. You may use a support or a cushion beneath. Just stay here, breathing in and out. As you bring your hands back, you can grab your ankle, come onto your elbow, lifting yourself up, drop your head to the back, lifting your chest towards the ground, and slowly bring yourself back up, sit on your heels, and slowly bring your forehead down to the mat into child pose. facing against the wall to use it as a support or if you're confident enough you can do it just on the mat to make sure that our alignment is correct now you want to bring your hands grabbing your elbows here as you sit on your heels bring your elbows down to the mat leave the elbows where they are creating a triangle interlock your hands from here, you're going to place the crown of your head against your hands for support. Make sure your elbows do not move. So your elbows are in line with your shoulders, keeping your shoulders straight. Tuck your toes in. Lift your knees off the ground. From here, walk your feet forward. As much as you can, stacking your hips over your shoulder. Now stay here for three, just breathing in and out, keeping your shoulders straight. Two, one, and exhale back down. So we'll do a few repetitions of this before we actually kick up into a headstand, just so that we have an idea of how to get into the posture. So you wanna make sure your elbows are in line, Interlock your hands, place your crown against your hands or your hip against your hands, tuck your toes, lift your knees off the ground so you want to straighten your leg, keep walking your feet forward as much as you can, stacking your hips right over your shoulders and just stay here. You can come onto your toes, tiptoeing, five, four, Three, two, one. Exhale down to your knees. Breathe in and out in child pose. Now we'll do this one more time. This time we're gonna lift one feet or one foot off the ground alternately. Again, grab your elbows, making sure that your alignment is correct. Placing it on the mat, release your hands, interlock your hands here. Make sure they are locked strongly as you place the crown of your head against your hands. Tuck your toes. Lift your knees off the ground. Keep walking your feet forward as much as you can. And from here, Tiptoe, lift your right foot off the ground. Keep your shoulders straight. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring your knees back down. Breathe in and out here. Now we'll switch to the other side. Again, making sure that your alignment is correct. Interlock your hands, place the crown of your head against your hands. Make sure your hands are locked tightly. 
Back your toes, lifting your knees off the ground. Walk your feet forward till you're on your toes. Lift your left foot off the ground. Straighten your right leg, just stay here. Three, two, one. Slowly bring your feet back down. Come back on your heels. Sit on your heels. Now with an inversion, whenever you come back down, you always want to make sure that you go back into child pose so that you allow the circulation in your body to return back to normal. When we go into an inversion, we have a rush of circulation going through our head and you tend to be dizzy or giddy. So always make sure that you rest in child pose and give yourself a few moments before you come back up. So we'll go into the full posture now here. If you need to use the wall as support, go ahead against the wall. And then from there, we'll go into the same posture. So sit on your heels first. Grab your hands. Grab your elbows with your hands. Place your elbows down onto the mat. Release your hands. Interlock your hands. Now from here, you're going to place the crown of your head against your hands. Tuck your toes. Lifting your knees off the ground, walking your feet forward. Now you can come up slowly as you bend your knees, lifting one foot up, followed by the other. Making sure that your hips are stacked right above your shoulder. Now from here, you can straighten one leg first, keeping it straight for engage. Keeping your shoulder straight. And then slowly go ahead and straighten the other leg. And just stay in here. You can have your toes pointed or flexed. Make sure your legs are engaged. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. And slowly come back down. Into child pose. Breathe in and out here. Take a few moments. Normalize your breathing. Slowly inhale and sit on your heels. Take a few moments here. Now, as we go into another variation of the headstand, again, the same posture, go ahead and use the wall as support if you need to. Again, grab your elbows with your hands, placing it on the mat. From here, interlock your hands, placing it right in front of you so you have a triangle created in front of you. Place the crown of your head against your hands. your toes in, lifting your knees off the ground. Walk your feet forward. Now as you bend your knees, lift one foot off the ground. Now as you stay in this posture, keep pushing your hips back as you straighten your leg to a 90 degree angle. Keep pushing your hips back. Bringing your legs in a straight line as in the hips. Core engaged. Breathe in and out. Keep your shoulders engaged. Three, two, one. Now to come back slowly, bend your knees and slowly bring your feet back down. And once again, stay in child pose for a few moments. Normalize your breathing here. Do not rush out of the posture. Now 
from child pose, come up, sit on the mat. Knees bend, lay down on your back. Hands to the side of your body, bring your feet close towards your hips or your buttocks. Now we'll go into a bridge pose here. You can grab your ankle with your hands. Now if you feel that you have a strain in your lower back or you need a support, please use a cushion or a blanket underneath so that you don't overstrain your lower back. Now with an inhalation, lift your hips off the ground. Exhale, bring it back down without bringing your hips down. Inhale, lift up again. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. You want to make sure your knees are not falling out and they're in line with your ankle. Engage your legs here. Engage the leg muscles. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lift higher. Exhale. Inhale. Engage your leg muscles. Glutes. Make sure your knees stay in line with your ankles. Exhale down. Inhale. Lift up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Release. Bring your knees together. Hug your knees. Massaging your back here. Roll from side to side. Front and back. Nicely massaging your back. Bring your feet down to the mat again. Hands to the side. Now with the next inhalation, make sure your knees are in line with your ankle. Lift your hips off the ground. Roll your shoulders in. Interlock your hands underneath. Now use your hands to support your lower back to lift you up higher. Keep lifting yourself higher, rolling your shoulders in. Stay here, five, four, three, two, one. Now if you can, lift your right leg up, toes pointing towards the ceiling. If you can't, just stay where you are, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, bring your right foot down, switch to the other side, inhale, lift your left leg up, toes pointing towards the ceiling, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, bring your left foot down, and slowly release your hands from below, gently bring yourself back down. Hug your knees here. Rolling from side to side, massaging your back. Now from here, straighten your leg. Feet together, hands to the side. So your hands are resting just beneath your hips or your buttocks for support. With an inhalation, lift your legs off the ground to a 90 degree angle. From here, push your hips up, supporting your back, bringing yourself into a shoulder stand. Keep lifting yourself, using your hands to support your back, keeping it straight. Stay here. Five. Four, three, two, one. Now with an exhalation, slowly drop your feet to the back over your head. Gently bringing yourself down. 
in to flow pose stay here you can interlock your hands or support your back five four three two one now you can either stay here or bend your knees bringing it close towards your ears interlock your hands or you may even hug your knees here stay here gently release your hands lifting your knees up back into shoulder stand slowly releasing your hips down the mat exhale bring your feet down stay here breathe in and out
right foot down to the mat, release your right foot. Switch to the other side, bring your left foot on to your right thigh, lifting your right foot off the mat, aim to lock your hands under your thigh, grabbing your calf or your ankle, and pull the knee close towards your chest. You can lift your head off the mat if you want, but if you want a deeper stretch, have your head resting on the ground and keep pulling the knee close towards your chest. Feel the stretch in the left side of your hip, your thighs, your glutes, your groins. Stay here. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale, slowly release. Bring your left foot down. Now open your hands in line with your shoulders. Palms facing down. Inhale, lifting your feet off the ground to a 90 degree angle. Deep supine twist here. Now shift your hips in towards the left. Exhale, drop your knees down to the right. Inhale, lift up. Shift your hips in to the right. Exhale, down to the left. Look to the opposite direction. Inhale, lift up. Shift your hips in. Exhale, down to the right. You want to make sure your hips is in line with your spine. Inhale, lift. Shift in. Exhale, down to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, down to the right. Inhale. Exhale, down to the left. You're working on stretching your entire back here with this supine twist. Exhale, down to the right. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down to the left. Come back up to the center. Bring your feet down. Hands to the side of your body. Slowly straighten your leg here. Palms facing the ceiling will go into relaxation. Eyes closed. Adjust yourself so that you don't have to move for the next few minutes as you lay here in Savasana, also called Big Hot Pose. Face relaxed, neck and shoulder relaxed, hands relaxed. Simply breathing in and breathing out for the next few minutes as you stay here. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, Allow your body to relax further. Focus on breathing in from your abdomens. So as you inhale, your belly rising up. With an exhalation, belly falling back in without lifting your chest. Gentle smile on your face as you stay here breathing in and out. Being completely relaxed.
your awareness back to your body, to your surroundings. Gently move your fingertips and your toes. Bringing your hands over your head, interlocking your hands, giving your whole body a gentle stretch. Bend your right knee here. Turning your body to the left side. Using your right hand as support to bring yourself up in a comfortable seating position. Now we'll do a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing before we end. So sit comfortably, keep your spine straight, your left hand resting on your left knee. Bring your right hand up, your index and middle finger in the center of your forehead. Your right thumb resting on your right nostril and your ring finger on your left. Inhale from both the nostril. Close your right, exhale from the left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Thank you.